Okay, 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 okay. Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Mjertz, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the of a persona, or persona, or however you want to say it. I got a lot of notes on my phone, so if you see me looking every which way but at the camera, that is why. <laughs> so the of persona is a topic that I've not seen too, too many people talk about, but uh, it's a topic that interests me, at least. You know, I... I fuck with it. <laughs> I know that Majura had recently made a tweet where he um, introduced uh, his persona named Kyle, and I know that uh, recently also Beta uh, had made a tweet about their new persona, Levi. 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 It's Levi. Levi. I'm illiterate. I'm really sorry. And it's kind of like, ooh, baby, that's my type. Self-exploration through anthropomorphic animals. That's my type! That's my type! But I'm only speaking on my own personal behalf, and I don't speak upon uh, anyone else. This is just my own experience through this. <laughs> so let's give some backstory to this whole situation real quick, or this whole growth process, let's just say, I guess. Let's start from my roots. So originally, you know, I was on Vine. But I was also making uh, YouTube videos, and the YouTube videos I was making were, uh, you know, out of suit. I had my suit in the the background of my video because uh, I was very bad at breathing in suit. Still, kind of am. I've, I've evolved. I've become. I'm like a lizard. Anyway, so I used to make videos out of suit, where I would just like be like as a person, and I'd be talking. And I'm gonna play a clip of me right now. But yeah. So that is my experience with working and getting low key fired from my top three. So yeah, and if you guys can't tell, uh, I sound <laughs> I sound shy as hell. Um, at the time when I first started making stuff on the internet, I didn't know how to um, talk to a camera. And if you're a, either a content creator or someone who I just you see me hit myself in the face. If you're either a content creator or you're just someone who uh, makes videos of like you know themselves, uh, you will know the the odd struggle of uh, you know being in front of a camera. And making yourself sound like you were talking to someone when you're literally in a room by yourself talking to a camera. <laughs> I mean, I got my cat over there. Hi, Chloe. <gasps> I love you. <laughs> she looked at me. Her name isn't Chloe. I had been making videos out of suit. And then I had gotten a comment that was like, oh, hey, Bolt, you should make a video in fursuit. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I can try. And then I made the video titled, uh... How to make a fursuit, and uh, that's kind of where my my journey on self exploration began. Let's say I remember I made that video, and I got a lot of you know positive comments, a lot of new people watching, and I was like, oh shit, this is what I want. I like this. I like I like putting on a fucking dog costume, and uh, making videos. You know, it was fun, and I did that for years. I had been making content in my fursuit on YouTube since 2016, I think is when I started, and it's you know 2020. And I had that same character, Bolt, for, oh god, um, I'd say about maybe five or six years, I was, um, had my old fursuit, uh, Bolt, uh, Bolt Mutt, let's say. It was a hoot, you know, I had an absolute, uh, and it was great, you know, I made content on the internet, um, I was reaching different walks of life that I never thought I would reach, I was meeting so many new people, I was going to conventions and like squatting up people, and it was great. And when I first started my YouTube channel, I was very much so an introvert. I was afraid of my own shadow, I would literally say. And I can like confidently say now that I am such a than I was back when I first started my YouTube channel, <laughs> I would say. This, you know, the dog costume I used to wear was uh, a big part of me breaking out of that shell and becoming uh, a person that, you know, I'm proud of, <laughs> you know? So I sold that suit back in 2019, the beginning of 2019, and, um... You know, it was, it was weird. <laughs> it was kind of weird. I got a lot of very mixed reactions where people were saying, oh my god, rest in peace, Bolt Mutt, or oh my god, I'm gonna miss that suit so much. Um, I've had people ask me uh, who's the new owner so they can go follow them. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a topic I've always been pressed about. Because, like, I get it, but I'm, <clears throat> I got a new suit because uh, the old character that I had, you know, Bolt the Super Dog, or Bolt Mutt, was uh, very much so a character I made uh, <laughs> during my scene phase, let's just say. You know, I had all the colors, and I was a skeleton, and I was an emo little bitch, and it was it was great, you know? It was an aesthetic that I wanted to have when I was in high school, and I never had the, the, the you know, the, the drive to actually go out and, like, achieve that. And I very much so didn't uh, express myself through 
you know, my clothing, my, my, you know, my, how I carry myself, I guess you would say. And the suit helped me, you know, grow as a person. And it, it helped me a lot. And I know that's so cringy to be like, oh, this doll costume did all that, but it did. It really, it really, really did help me a lot through life. I sold the suit because it came to a point in my life where I no longer felt attached to that character. And here's where I'm going to get a little bit deep. So if I were to compare myself uh, when I first got my first suit to now, uh, those are two completely different people. <laughs> they are two different people. And just like, you know, me changing, you know, like, let's, let's compare outfits at least real quick. This is what I used to wear when I used to do videos, you know? I used to look like this, <laughs> and now, I, you know, I'm wearing skinny jeans and a Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Can you even see it? Can you see it? And just like my, you know, visual aesthetic, um, my character has changed. And I no longer really identified with um, Bolt Mutt. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to say that I've lost my love for Bolt Mutt, no. Uh, I still very much so love that character. And that character does mean a whole lot to me. But it's just no longer the best representation of myself in the form of <laughs> an animal, <laughs> in the form of a persona. Now, I'm not trying to hold, um, you know, furries to a standard of, like, you know, industry-level character design. In any way, I'm not. But, you know, it's in the sense of, like, rebooting a TV show. Like, ugh, let me explain that. Just for reference, let's use Teen Titans. You know, Teen Titans was absolutely phenomenal. I loved it as a kid. And they revamped it, re revamped it into, um, Teen Titans Go. Where, you know, the general characters are still there, but the art style is completely different. And people were pissed. I remember being pissed. I remember being like, this is the Teen Titans I know and love. And, you know, it's, it's kind of in the same ballpark of like, oh yeah, you know, change does happen. You know, as much as I adore the old um, style of Teen Titans, um, it, it's, it's been a couple years <laughs> and they've, they've done some tweaks and they've adjusted it. And it's now Teen Titans Go! And that's just kind of how it is. Same goes for, let's say, your favorite furry content creator and their persona. And I really wish more people would understand that when people change their personas, it's not them like being like, oh, I fucking hate this character, like, time to get rid of it. No, it's growth, you know? It's character development. It's just progressing in life, you know? <laughs> Imagine if Mickey Mouse had the exact same style. Like, Steamboat Willie style all the way until 2020. Which, I know, <laughs> Steamboat Willie, ugh, love him. But you know what I mean? Like, he went through so many different stylistic changes. Like, Sonic as well. You know, people are always gonna be up in arms about the designs of Sonic. Like, losing the arms, and then the Boom, the Boom series, and... Woo! But it's just growth, you know? It's just character development. And it's normal, you know? People grow, and people, you know, change how they want to be viewed. I'm really happy when people, like, get new versions of their suits. Like, I know, uh, Stormy Wolf just got a new version of his suit, and it's gorgeous. I think both versions of Stormy's suit are fucking gorgeous. Ugh, my heart, my heart goes boom. A lost child, oblivious to the never-ending sea of despair. At the end of the day, um, someone may move on from their persona. And that's okay, you know? That just shows that they're growing as a person. And, let's say, someone keeps their same design for, like, long periods of time never changes. That's fine too, you know? If that's something that they're comfortable with, then be it, so be it, you know? That's great, you know? So, you know? It would've been much cheaper if I didn't, you know, go from a dog to a raccoon. But, you know, that's just kind of how it is. I still love what I got out of Bolt, you know? I still love the journeys that I took with him. And I know that he does bring joy to a lot of people, a lot of people. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm, I'm alive. I'm just a raccoon now. I literally got a comment on uh, TikTok the other day that was like, oh my god, Bolt, you're not dead? Like, long live the king. And I was like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> I'm, I'm a raccoon, you know? I mean, I guess you can't see my, my crescent moon too often. Maybe I can pin it back so maybe people will be like, oh, hey, you look familiar. And I'll be like, picture my booty up in 3D. Uh, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about. Um... If you like the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I try to make new videos whenever I can. Um, if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, the link to my coffee will be in the description below. If you throw me a coffee, please be sure to DM me your coffee receipt, and I can add you to my Discord chat, and we can have a party. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope this video made sense. It's kind of been something that's on my mind for a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to express it in a, a way that I, I people would understand. <laughs> I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs>